Good evening to everyone and welcome to part three of our quiz tournament. Good to see nine players online. I'm just waiting for at least a quorum of 20 people to join. Them, Rose, JD, Al Kabinaini, Bobby, Ishit. I'm waiting for some more. Uh, wow, Shweta Reddy gives uh, a very good compliment. Thank you, Shweta. That is a driving force for me to spend time with all you guys. Good evening, sir. After dedicating every day of week and now Sunday also, you are spending these sessions with us. That is for free salute to you. I'm all yours. And uh, my dream is, can I be that good classmate who can really influence and uh, inspire you guys to prepare every day? Unless I lead you with example, there won't be, uh, there is no meaning uh, because coming once in a while and then uh, giving a pep talk is not enough. A good teacher is supposed to study along with you. But anyway, I'll tell you all one uh, uh, something that my surgery teacher said. He's a great teacher in surgery. Just like Shweta, I also complimented him. Sir, you are such a wonderful surgeon. I'm, uh, I really like you so much and uh, uh, he used to hang out the, in the hospital, even night emergencies also, he used to be there on the side of you, he used to give us chances to do appendicitis and uh, many of the small, small surgical procedures, suturing, everything I learned from him. Then he told me uh, on a lighter week, do you know why Shakespeare became a great poet? Why Shakespeare became a great poet? Because his wife is so tough uh, that uh, she was demand, demanding him for a lot of money. And uh, threw all his belongings out of the house uh, and said, become popular and earn me the money. So that made uh, Shakespeare to become a great writer in order to because of the tough wife. So our surgery teacher used to say, maybe you did not check uh, that I have a tough wife that threw me out of the house, that I am showing so much dedication to the work. So, but anyway, uh, I have a very sweet wife. My girl, whom I have ran away and married uh, 25 years ago, when I was a final year MBBS and entering into internship. I married uh, uh, in Arasamaj, running away on a bike. So, uh, sometimes people become dedicated to the particular mission, not only because of passion, because of many other domestic reasons also. So, uh, that's good. Very good to see almost 12 players online. See, I'm experimenting one uh, very interesting uh, phenomenon. I'm looking for that feedback from all you guys. So, uh, yes, that's a good point, uh, Shweta. Whenever um, the link is not working, you can go to ahaslides.com, just enter that code. And through that also, you can be able to make an entry. So don't worry. Now, um, one of the thing that I want to do is, see in 1999, when I started uh, every Sunday full-scale grand test, in those days, it used to be APPG exam in all India. So everyone was saying, uh, hey, this is a new trend. And a lot of my students used to be primary health center doctors. So that's the reason for them, Sunday is a convenient time and the only time 
So in 1999, uh, I started uh, almost every Sunday I used to religiously conduct a mock test and the whole uh, Saturday I used to prepare the original questions uh, as much to simulate the actual exam. That is a big hit. It made me popular across the India because I was the only guy who was uh, delivering the mock tests on Sundays and discussing the paper. So after that, even when the original exam was not online, I was the first to start the online uh, testing journey. That was also received very well. Of course, later so many people came, that's a different story. Now, when I look at so many um, grand test subscribers, a lot of students pay the money for the full scale grand test, but only 10% of them actually take the test. They just pay me money like uh, they pay to Tirupati Balaji temple. So what is the reason for that? Everybody will have some kind of a feeling that, hey, let me reach a level of perfection. And after reaching that level of perfection, uh, you, you, you want to become something. So Sarangi is asking a question. Sir, do you also work in hospital or only teaching? No, unless you touch at least half a dozen patients and do the clinical work, life is miserable. That with teaching, if you supplement both clinical and also this, that become easier. But I don't uh, practice for money because uh, once more, it's uh, a joy when people who missed a diagnosis or missed a critical thing, right? So nowadays, uh, diagnosis is relatively more easier at the same time, relatively more confused because too many investigations give too many trivial findings. Somebody will have HRCT with a few nodules. Today afternoon only I have seen one case. Few nodules. He's so worried. Doctor, is it cancer? Is it cancer? Is it cancer? Because long back, he's a young man. But uh, the radiologist reported that there are few minor small nodules, uh, query asbestosis, query silicosis, blah, blah, blah. But this guy is completely caught. He's from Vishakhapatnam. So I told him there's nothing to worry. Earlier uh, radiographs are being, uh, he luckily had a couple of uh, radiographs. So when we compared, uh, there is not much of any difference. So I just reassured him. So what I can say is, general medicine clinical practice is like a Sherlock Holmes job. So, uh, so that's the reason I don't practice for money. Of course, I don't even teach, uh, money automatically comes, but so, uh, now the point I want to tell is, um, yeah, um, I think that answers Sarang. Um, I want to test a hypothesis that if you give 20 questions, 15 questions, small, small bite sized challenges to the students every hourly, that is a more inspirational way of stimulating the learning rather than giving a full scale grand test. Another thing, just now somebody I have seen a comment on the one last YouTube video. One of the students has commented, very good comment. Sir, within a short time of that 15, 10, 15 seconds, the pressure of time and your classmates are all answering, you are unable to answer that competition. That is really mimicking the entrance exam uh, ecosystem and scenario. That's the whole purpose of uh, a full scale grand test, right? So very good. We got a very good quorum of students. Almost all 20 students are uh, have joined. So let us get the start doctor. Now question number one. We will try to rush a little fast. At uh, 8 p.m. I have an online meeting uh, with one uh, prospective investor. 
who is a psychiatrist who is investing money with me. We are building a mobile app which is into quiz tournaments. So 8 o'clock I have that online meeting. Before that we will complete. So 19 year old male, low back, morning stiffness, pain. So in ankylosing spondylitis what do you get? Ionic regurgitation. So there's a reason there's also a early diastolic murmur is what you need to remember. Ishit is on the top followed by Ujji, Bean, Bem, Auditing. I'm always happy to see new, new names. I used to sing Ravi. Ravi is like our regular uh, guest of honor. I'm uh, thankful to him for uh, uh, taking the interest in uh, getting into the game. Now, a patient with glomerulonephritis has the following findings. So please look into the uh, phone and answer. So what do you see uh, in this given case? Absolutely. <laughs> Upper respiratory tract, cavitating lesions, lower respiratory tract and kidney involvement, glomerulus. All the three combined is vaginous granulomatosis. Good. Ishit is on the top. Let us see. Ishit looks like the next star of honor. Yes. So, very good. In an elderly patient who has undergone vascular catheterization, you are able to see the lesion. So, what is your diagnosis? Excellent. So, it is multiple cholesterol embolization syndrome, which leads to the vascular occlusion. That's what you need to appreciate. Now, doctor, that keeps Ishit on the top. I think Al Khaminaini is from Pakistan, if I'm not wrong. So, but uh, because Al Khaminaini did not even claim the prize that he has won. So, even if you are from Pakistan or any other country, Al Kamilaini, please uh, you can um, WhatsApp our uh, helpline and claim your 40,000 rupees worth of online MBBS primes. Okay? So, now, doctor, the next question, number four. In a 58 year old woman who has history of fever, weight loss, scalp pain, headache, visual changes, classical question, doctor. What is your answer? Large vessel vasculitis. Which one? All of you will correctly answer this. I can bet it. Great. Almost 12 of you correctly answered. Jane Salon practice. Question number five. A 15 year old hypertensive with absent pulses of the left arm, a radiograph is being presented to you. Digital subtraction angiography. Excellent. It is the uh, Takayasu arthritis, which is called the pulseless disease, which is a very commonly seen in the case of the young Asian, sweet looking female presenting with hypertension. Good. Al Khaminaini is on the top. Question number six. These are all associated with carcinoma of the breast. Except. So, carcinoma of the breast. Good to see 17 online. Please punch a line with all your friends. Somebody please post it in uh, our quiz WhatsApp group that the live class has started. Many others can join. Very good. High fat diet, positive family history and early mean arc. Good. That brings Ravi to the top. Question number seven. Which is a precursor 
precursor lesion of the cancer. Precursor lesion of the cancer. What of all this? Precancerous. Good. So, typically a complete mole is precancerous, but lichen sclerosis is not. Endometrial polyps are a common finding, but they are not. Good to see 16 players. Rose is on the top. Excellent rose. Eight. Life from any multicancer syndrome is inactivation of suppressor gene P53. What is it associated? Least likely. Good. So you see familial polyposis, retinoblastoma, HPV induced cancers, etc., etc., is a part of the life normally. That keeps Ravi on the top. Nine. The drug and the manifestation. You should know how to pair the both. The drug and the manifestation. Great. Cocaine can lead to arrhythmias. Aspirin lead to GIT bleeding. Sulfonamides can lead to immune complex diseases. 10. Right sided valvular disease. Right sided. Malvillard, this is easy question. All of you should answer this correctly. Great. So, carcinoid, right-sided valvular disease. Spicospid regurgitation is called. Question number 11. So, what percentage of the population is below the poverty line? It's a wild guess below the poverty line. So whenever with a pressure of time, if you answer, you will remember the correct answer even in tomorrow's exam. Good. So 30 to 40 percent. That brings and pulls up rows onto the top. Question number 12. Bag sources, what is exact? Bag sources. So, bisinosis, bag sources, examiner's favorite question. So, x ray shows mottling, and fungus is responsible. And pulmonary function is severely bad. Good. Ishit is on the top. Question number 13. Yes. Good. The factory acts prohibit the employment of the children below the age of 14. Good. So some Bhatti Barnevala questions here. Are you Singh is really doing good? We have 17 players. Suhi, Akshay and many more. Good. 14. Good to see Akshay online. Minimum recommended space for every worker. How much? Minimum recommended space. 500 cubic feet. 
according to the factory standards. Good. Now, 15. In the census, what is the data you get? Census. Census provides good. Literacy rate, it can't. Who reads, who don't read, it can't. So sex ratio, crude death ratio, rate, everything is known. Good. Ishit is really, really running very fast. Good, Ishit. About an expert witness. These are all two. Expert witness. Who is not an expert witness? Easy question. I have some log answer karega. Gray eyewitness is not a expert witness. Is Kelly a forensic party? Is she Rabbi Rose? Mistake means I can't believe. 17. Professional negligence. How do you give punishment? In case of professional negligence, punishment is given by court of law. Right? If you forget a, a swab or a wedding ring inside the patient's abdomen, court of law will take care. I have a sixth sense that Ishit is going to be the 14,000 rupees winner in this game. Let us see. Obturator foramen in a female, what is the shape? Obturator foramen in a female. Good. It is triangular, not round, not square. Oh my God. Already Ishit crossed it. Thousand. Score. Somebody need to do a bloodless coup on Ishit. Female union of epiphysis in cartilaginous bones. So, when will it occur? In a female. Great. One to two years earlier than in the males. Great. 20. Bone pelts, wax drippings. Where do we see? Which type of bulbs? Bone pearls, wax drippings. Super. In case of electrical birds, Ishit lost the game. No worries. No, lost the question. 21. So, what is incorrect? Correct. So babies are able to respond to the sounds in utero. Especially mothers who sing, who listen, even the baby is also listening. So only Essa did it correctly. 22. A normal four week old infant. So all these developmental milestones, let me see out of 17, how many get clean bottle?
that is a challenge. 2 plus 5, 7 plus 1, 8, almost 50 percent it is wrong, which is not a good sign. Because development in mind is a, such a fundamental question in the tomorrow's need PG exam. Without that, there is no paper. So, 23. Recurrent respiratory infections. They have an association with where do you see them? Good. So ventricular septal defect, gastroesophageal reflux, and smoking. If you take tetralogy of phallo, what do you have, doctor? You have a pulmonic stenosis that decreases the blood flow to the lungs. So increase in blood flow to the lungs lead to recurrent respiratory infections, not a decrease. That is the reason tetralogy of phallo does not have any increase of the respiratory infections. Good. Now, question number 24. What is correct? Correct out of all this. So, absolutely. In ASD, the left atrial blood is pushing into right atrium, and right atrium is regularly receiving the venous return. So that is the reason the murmur that you listen in ASD is mainly because of the flow across the defect. Good. 25. A preponderance of lymphocytes in the differential count. Where do you see? Differential WBC count. Great. Infants at three months, there can be lymphocytic predominance. It's a normal finding. Woofing cough, infectious mononucleosis. Good, is it? 26. ITP in children. Idiopathic thrombocytopenic herpida in children. Good, very good. Often it is because of viral infection is what you need to remember. Now, 27. There's a macroscopic hematuria in sync with upper respiratory infection, which is a recurring finding. So what are the most common causes of the benign recurrent hematuria? Benign recurrent hematuria. Good. So, you should know IgA nephropathy, Burgess disease, what are the glomerulonephritis with low complement and normal complement. So, you should lost this question. Al Kaminani is heading fast. 28. So, what is the wrong statement? about intracellular fluid, extracellular fluid, total body water, this particular physiology topic doctor, same thing will come in pediatrics, general medicine, surgery while managing burns everywhere. So, 
the ECF volume constitutes 20 to 25 percent of the body water. It's true. So, SR only correctly answered this long question. Question 29. Hypernatremic dehydration. What is the recognized complication of hypernatremic dehydration? Absolutely. So the brain becomes swollen and brain becomes shrunken depending on hypernatremia, hyponatremia. So that is the reason patients with uh, hypernatremia can present with seizures and those with hyponatremia with lethargy. Question number 30. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Once more, if you do this wrong, you need to go back to the video library and do the revision doc. Great. So, there's a metallocorticoid deficiency, so salt wasting, excess androgens, so ambiguous genitalia in girls, and uh, there will be high plasma 17 hydroxyprogesterone levels. Only two of you correctly answered, that makes me feel sad about it. So you guys must uh, go back and uh, repair CAH topic. We have wonderfully discussed in online MBBS video library. Ishit is on the top in an envious position. With regard to Adlan bodies, what is accept? Odland bodies. So the main purpose of the Odland bodies is they help to establish a barrier for the water loss. They help in stratum corneum cells to have addition. So they're all true statements. Good. This is a complete uh, clean ball for a lot of people. Only Rose, Suhi, Uji correctly answered. Rose, Ruhi, Uji. Good. Parakeratosis. What is the exact? Once more, dermatology is a subject where you can score easily 5 out of 5. So, the retention of the nuclei by the keratinocytes in the horny layer is parakeratosis. Usually, focal parakeratosis is the feature of psoriasis. And in the mouth, it is a physiological phenomenon. Right? Now, that makes Ishit SR on the top. Tapti 3. So, cohort study, what is incorrect? Cohort case control, randomized control trial, all differences, you should know. So, Cohort is a prospective study, case control is a retrospective study, you want to be very sure. Good. 34. About the measles, what is exact? About measles.
Good. So fever occurs within 7 to 10 days of infection. Immunity develops 7 days after vaccination. Incubation period is 10 to 14 days. There will be about 20 points on measles. Frequently asked chicken pox. 35. Primordial prevention in CHD. Primordial. Even before the emergence of the risk factors, it is called primordial. What is except about it? Great. Screening for hypertension is the early diagnosis and treatment. That's the reason it comes under secondary prevention. That's right. Now, 36. A female health worker while prescribing OCPs, what she should evaluate? So you should know what are all the red flag signs of OCP, absolute relative contraindications of OCP, everything. So DVT, epilepsy, chronic headache like migraines, they are the things that she need to thoroughly evaluate. Good. 37. Total cholesterol is equal to A plus B plus C plus D is an example of what? What type of statistical operation? Hey, Rajneesh. You can still join the quiz to get the quiz link. First to become part of our WhatsApp group, which has almost 170 members. Good. It is an example of multiple linear regression. Once more, if you go back to online MBBS video library, 15 hours we discussed 300 MCQs in biostatistics. You should take every chance. Good. Ishit is clean board. Now, Ishit, you know, you are strong in many areas, but biostatistics you have to improve, right? Now, these are all features of influenza epidemic, except boom, boom, boom. Great. There is a short incubation period, sudden outburst, large number of subclinical cases. You know, Corona, no doctor. I think all of you will, oh my God, Ishit, once more wrong. What happened, Ishit? Of course, Ishit is having a lot of uh, uh, marks in his uh, pack. What is the period of communicability? Uh, this is a pure Bhatti Mandiwala question. In meningococcal meningitis, period of communicability. Great. During the incubation period itself, it is communicable and it averages three to four days. Oh my God. Once more, Ishit is wrong. Question number 40. So, Ishit better. Jara PSM ko maramat karna padega. It is not true about hepatitis B. Yeah. Hepatitis B. Great. It is also known as Dane particle. Envelope antigen is infective sign. It can survive for longer periods outside the human body. Oh, I can't believe what's happening. Even Ravi Al Kaminaini going wrong in such a simple question. 41. Is PSM so tough for you guys? Now it is not effective for hookworm control. Yes. For the hookworm control. Right. 
for the prevention. So, wearing of footwear, health education, sanitary disposal of feces, they are all applicable. Good. Ishit rightly answered. Good, good. You are listening. God is listening. Question 42. So, syndromic approach of STD management. At what level do you apply that? Syndromic approach. Bravo, PHC level. Oh, once more, Rishit. I think Rishit should improve a lot in PSL to stand in the top thousand ranks in the NEET PG. 43. Good stage report. Maximum AIDS cases. Maximum. Yes. Tamil Nadu, of course, this keep changing uh, periodically. So this question is little less than minus. 44. So the boys over 16 who are too difficult to be handled in a certified school will be sent to where? So what are the difference between Forster, Remand and Borster? Right. They are sent to Borster house. Great. 45. Come on, doctor, 8 o'clock I have a meeting. The most common health problem of aged people. You know what Mother Teresa said? More than HIV, more than TB, the greatest problem in this entire world is being unwanted in our old age. Right? So, that's the reason we should take every moment of the time to spend with Mama, Papa, even though you become a top medical consultant. Good. Visual impairment is a major problem. Now, 46. Six, seven year old women, accident emergency, productive cough, green sputum, etc. etc. And uh, Yes. Good. Very good. So this kind of case studies, they may look big, but the key point is the The more and more you are practicing, you will get habituated. 47. 65 year old man complains of calf with sputum and a 15 day fever. His sputum was sent to culture, you are able to see the organisms. So what is the organism that looks like this? Great. Legionella pneumophila. Flagellate. Now the last three questions. Let us see who is the 40,000 rupee winner. So, 76 year old with acute onset of breathlessness, his PO2, PCO2, HCO3, they were all given. So, hypoxia with normocarbia is the type 1 respiratory failure. Now, question number 49. Last two questions. 54 year old with history of weight loss, loss of appetite, shortness of breath, his respiratory rate is increased. So, given all the story, it's a case of right sided plural effusion. The last question which is going to decide 
Who is the winner? 45 year old women, unexpected weight loss, loss of appetite, shortness of breath. On examination, there is, uh, yes, if you go through that, you'll get it. So it's a classical story of bronchogenic carcinoma. So doctor, he shit Jindabad. Great, doctor. Great, great, great. So, Ishit, you have really done well, but one recommendation TSM, you need to really see the end of it. So, there are 1500 MCQs topic wise classified and discussed in online MBBS.com video library. Please send uh, the screenshot of it, uh, you get an immediate activation of your account, Ishit. First thing in all the MBBS video library you need to do the revision is PSM, SPM, okay? So will you promise me that? And everybody else who have uh, joined this marathon, thank you all. And since morning we had been enjoying a great quiz. Tomorrow once more, 11 a.m., 2 p.m., evening, 7 p.m. We will try to finish the remaining 150 questions. Our dunya ko bol batayenge. Bhaiya, humne 300 MCQs full scale grand test khatam kar liya. Aur samaj liya kaun se subjects mein mai better hu. Aur kaun se subjects mein mere juniors better hai. And seniors better hai. There is no real competition. The real competition is within you. Right? So... Enjoy a great uh, Sunday evening. And once more, Shweta, thank you so much for uh, your nice compliment and good words that have made my day. Good night.